Listen closely, and you'll hear the sound of the podcast whisperer. David Allen challenges you to learn what it takes to be a world-class podcaster, because everyone has a story to tell. Welcome to the Podcast Whisper. I am David Allen, and this week we're going to talk about the show called Retail Rehab. He stands up, and I just know he's waiting for me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and they and then I didn't even wow. make it through the metal detector before he's like, "So, can I get you to step over here?" <laughs> <laughs> They would cheap it down the road. You work here. Can I speak to your manager? Uh, uh, I would like to return these items. But it was on sale last week. There's no price tag on this. It's gotta be free. Oh my god. I hate my life. Uh, you, you should, should go, go die. die. You're listening to Retail Rehab, where we believe the customer is not always right. So sit back and join us as we discuss all things retail and beyond. I am very excited, particularly about this podcast and I'm so glad that they submitted their show at reviewmypod.com because I'm telling you this is such a sore topic if you've ever worked in retail in hospitality in anything dealing with the general public you are so going to relate to this show they are only about seven episodes in which is great and I've listened to pretty much all of the episodes I'd be lying if I said I've listened to them all but I've listened to pretty much all the episodes and it's just hysterical because this is what we need I have always been a fan of saying the customer is not always right. And that's true. The customer is not always right. You, me, we're consumers. We know. The difference between the people who have created this podcast and myself is that we've worked in that industry. And if you worked in an industry, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're that asshole customer that comes in and just thinks that you deserve the world. And I love that somebody created a show about this. This is going to be a great topic. The things that I absolutely love about this show is very much the intro. The intro is so professionally produced. It is so amazing how well it sounds and how great it sounds. And just the fact that, you know, in the intro, it says everything about the show, what exactly they're trying to do here. Seven episodes in, I see that they launched on August 27, 2018. And it looks like they actually are very ambitious and launched five episodes, which is great. Three or more right? That's the rule to get on new and noteworthy. They have upticks, they have reviews. I mean, the show is very well produced and I, I just love it. And and again, you know, the four points that I always look for, they hit right in the first five seconds of it. It's great. They use the bit from the show. They went right into their intro. The intro explains everything. And uh, yeah, and they're very comical too. And some of the stories they tell are pretty amazing. Let's listen. Now, kids in the store, I know you guys have a lot of bad experiences with kids. In the store. In the store. Touching the TVs. <laughs> That's probably the most annoying part. Just why Why do kids do. love touching TVs? Just yeah, and then smashing you see them their hands it, like on it. it. Yeah. You, you see, see the, the TV fingerprints afterwards. Yeah. And their it's parents crazy. are just standing there just watching them. I've seen parents do it. Anything. I've seen parents touch TVs. Is it touchscreen? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, I understand that people love touchscreen, but what benefit is a touchscreen TV going to give you? Are you going to get up <laughs> yeah. from your couch every time you want to change channels? <laughs> exactly. Holy crap. Common sense. That is such a crazy topic. I'm just kind of use this right now to kind of interject my own thoughts into that. I do love that they talked about kids in the store because that is my biggest pet peeve. And the fact that the parents stand there and watch them, oh my God, it's just like, what is wrong with you? I personally feel that these parents have checked out. They already had enough of these kids. They're done with them. They're over it. They're over all the bullshit that the kids are going through. They're like, fuck it for a minute. We're going to send them off to somebody else. Same thing in hospitality. They let their kids run crazy through these hotels and they let them go nuts. And then you call them and they're offended. What do you mean my kid did this? Don't talk to my kid like that. So again, love, love, love the show. It's amazing. And it just vents out the frustration. And I know they're in Australia, which is even better because now you know it's not just us. It's not just you dealing with these issues as well. And for them to be able to vent out their frustration, I think it's great. The album art is great. The retail rehab album art is amazing. It looks like three guys just kind of working behind a counter. It's great. The website's awesome too. Their Twitter, you know, they don't have a lot of followers, but again, you guys are listening. 
Their average time usually runs about 30 minutes. They have some 44-minute episodes. But it's all very informational, just like this. Oh, actually, yeah. We sent him off. He came back the next day, and I was working with another colleague. Everyone here knows who we're talking. Yeah, sure. The manager. (laughs) He says the exact same things, but he had a new reason. And the new reason this time was because he doesn't connect to multiple devices. Oh, that was complete bullshit. I remember this. Yeah. And then, which is a, a limitation with Bluetooth, not the product. And we're all like, "What? What are you talking about? Like the microphone's working, and now you have this issue that you know it can't connect to all these devices." It's like, "What? Like with Bluetooth, it should generally only just work with the one device that's connected to." Um, and knowing our manager, ooh, oh mate, mate. here you, you know go. How, Here's a refund. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know how our, you know how your manager's supposed to back you up in the times like this? Like this is a completely acceptable reason to reject the person trying to get the refund, especially with the policy of, you know, no refunds on headphones. The man offers the guy a refund. So now we have refunded this He's not loyal. This person, this annoying, arrogant douchebag of a customer. We return his money with a completely fine set of headphones. Like, there was no need for it at all. So what do you guys think of airplanes? So in this clip, it's a tale as old as time. Customers getting their way. Managers not backing you up. How many times, and if I could see you, you raise your hands. How many times have we had that happen where, you know, you are doing everything. You're upholding the policy that was set forth by your corporation. And guess what happens? This douchebag asshole manager comes by and is like, nope, the customer's right. We're going to do exactly what we're going to do. And this show, this podcast is amazing for venting that frustration out because, again, you're not alone. And I hope these customers are listening to this. I hope customers can hear the Retail Rehab podcast because they need to know how they act. They're absolutely crazy. The other thing I absolutely love about this show too, transitioners. They use transitioners from story to story. That's why I kind of left that. It was a longer clip than I normally play, but I wanted you to hear the transitioner. They talked about the manager not backing them up, the person getting the headphones uh, refunded, and then also then they transitioned to something completely different. Transitioners are good because you really, really want to break up the monotony of just talking and talking and talking, kind of like I'm doing right now. <laughs> But it's great. It's great. And that's my transitioner for the podcast whisper is playing the clips in between and talking about them. So that's great. That's great. The audio quality is awesome. And uh, I can't say enough good things about this show. I mean, I I truly, truly can't find too many challenges. Again, we could be picky with things, but I'm not going to be in this episode because really there's not much to be picky about. There are three guys who are going through retail issues, as it were. And it's very well produced. The audio is good. Everything is great. I would totally recommend this. The topic is amazing. Customer service alone is such a a brave topic to begin with. And, and it seems like the names have been changed to protect the innocent. So that's great, too. So the confidentiality of it is is great. So I guys, great job on this. I can't find really anything wrong with this show. I say, keep doing what you're doing. It's just a conversation to be had. It's going to catch like fire because we all go through this and we all go through this nonsense of customer service and what we're expected to do and how we're expected to do it. That is also a expertise of mine as well because I've been doing it for so long, which led me into podcasting because I need a break. I need a different a different challenge. I need to know that there are other things out there other than these bitchy ass customers who complain about every single thing. Now, let's do reverse psychology here though. They're paying for a product. They're paying for something that they feel it should work out the best that it should, right? Granted, like he said with the Bluetooth, it's not the Bluetooth. It's the technology. It's not the product. It's the technology. So that's what I'm saying. They're not thinking things through. Us in the industry working in this, we completely understand that. They just do not get it. So very well done, guys. I'm going to end the show here because I really have nothing else to say. You guys are doing a great job. Keep up with it. If you listen from episode one to seven, you can certainly hear there's an audio quality change, which is great. So they know how to grow. They want to grow. They're learning. They're doing different things. So keep up the great work, guys. As if I couldn't say anything else about this amazing show 
they also, at the end of their show, do a review of the week, which is so cool because it just will help you grow your audience. Your audience wants to know that you're listening, and they thank you by leaving you reviews, right? That's that's how this goes. Same thing as customer service. We get reviews about our service. So they outline that and take a moment to highlight that in their show to pretty much thank the person who's listening for the reviews. Review of the week. Our favorite review from you guys this week. If you're enjoying the show, please leave us a five-star review on iTunes. We'd really appreciate it. It's been a really good week for us with reviews. We've had quite a few come through. Um, I've just chosen this one that's summarized quite well. It says, the guys are funny and have great stories. Anyone in the customer service industry can relate. Look forward to more. And it's by Dandelion Dreams. So thank you for the review and thank you to everyone else that's left a review. We really appreciate it and it really helps us out. So thank you, Retail Rehab, for submitting your show to ReviewMyPod.com. I actually learned some things. I, that's a great idea with having your reviews read on the end of the show, the transitioners. So again, this Podcast Whisperer show is not about me reviewing your shows. It's not about me telling you what needs to do. It's about us learning together. So thank you so much for sharing this show with me as well. Because again, I, I think it's a brilliant show and I just can't get enough of it. And I'm so excited for this topic. If you want your show to be on Podcast Whisperer, please submit it at ReviewMyPod.com and you might get featured in Spotlighted just like the Retail Rehab. Until next time, my friends, happy potting. <laughs> <laughs>